how are you doing this Sunday morning? This morning, I my name is Calvin, and I am an ordained Christian counselor and a licensed professional counselor. And you know what? Today, I wanted to just share with you a little bit about a story, a different kind of story. Um, but I think that it's significant and it's relevant, and it may be what encourages you today. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it. Um, so once uh, in a very far away land, there was a little boy who had been given a pair of old rusty brown socks and they had holes in them and everything. And so then, you know, the little boy wondered, why was I given this brown pair of socks that's holy? It has holes in it and it really looks like it's trash and it should be thrown away. But the uh, grandfather said to the little boy, said, you know what, just keep these socks anyway. These brown socks have meaning, they're important. And so it's like the little boy went through years and years and years and he grew older and he still had this little brown pair of socks that had holes in it. And uh, one day uh, there was a big banquet and the banquet, there were some special officiants and they had uh, approached all the people in the town. And um, of all of the people, they approached him and they said that the requirements were a brown pair of socks um, any brown pair of socks. Now, unfortunately, there was a brown pair of socks shortage in the town. So nobody had brown socks. Only the really rich and wealthy had a brown pair of socks. And so naturally, he thought to himself, I'm not included. I can't go to this thing because I don't have any socks to wear any brown pair of socks specifically. But then he remembered as he contemplated that he wasn't gonna be able to go to this banquet that he did have a brown pair of socks, but it was he was ashamed of these brown pair of socks because they had holes in them and they were raggedy and they didn't really seem like they were going to uh, mount to anything. You know, it's like, you know, and that he would surely be turned away. But, you know, after giving it some consideration, he thought to himself, why not? It's like, you know what? It's like, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, if I wasn't going to get to go anyway, then what change difference is this going to make? So he goes on and he puts on the brown socks, even though they have raggedy, dusty holes in them and they look like they've been, uh, you know, worn for a century, but they were brown. And so he goes to the banquet, he uh, meets the people, the officiants at the door, and he has, and they look and they check for his socks. So when they check um, all the people's socks and everything, then, you know, you see this person with, they have these brand new socks, these beautiful material brown socks. And so then the uh, officiants get to this guy and they look at his socks and he sits there and he has sweat just kind of coming down the, his forehead. And then uh, they evaluate it and then they say, you may pass. You may pass because you have the brown socks that were required through our invitation. So what is the reason for me sharing this story with you this morning? The, this morning, yeah, I'm sharing you the, with you this story so that you will take into mind Never to underestimate what you have, even if it seems insignificant, if it seems uh, old, if it seems like it's not been used, if it seems like it's raggedy. It, it doesn't matter what you think it is. It may be just what you need to fit the uh, requirements of what is needed at that time. And it's important for you to be have more confidence believe in what you got believe in what you have and as you do that you may understand you may realize that a whole world is opening up to you based upon not what you think you should have but what you already got this is calvin smith
it's been a pleasure to talk to you this morning. I hope you're blessed. And um, listen, it's like I have something called Wonderful Counselor Ministries, and I talk a little bit about um, different things like this and um, ways that we can talk about and share um, things that help us to grow and to accomplish and to achieve the things that we want to grow and accomplish and achieve. Why? Because you know what? Sometimes structure helps. Sometimes support helps. Sometimes you know, it doesn't do it to be in certain environments, but in other environments it does. And I'm telling you today that you have a pair of brown socks and that is yourself. That is your mind. That is your heart. That is your thoughts. Come, come and be a part of the wonderful Counselor Ministries and um, see what God can do in this ministry for you, with you, through you. In Jesus' name. All right, give me a call and um, or uh, give me an inbox. And let me know because it's going to be okay. I'm wanting to tell you personally, it's going to be okay. And your best days are ahead of you. See you next time. God bless.